Well, here we are. We brought in uh, LA's uh, most famous chef, and uh, we, we were just talking with Amanda about everybody relates to Spago as being very expensive. Yeah, no, I think actually Spago is a very reasonable restaurant. Now, we have some dishes which are more pricey than others. But you know, it's a really down-to-earth restaurant in one way, like we have things like pizzas. And you know, we started this craze with pizzas in California and Los Angeles. They're a little bit different than your pizzas here in Chicago, but they are wonderful because they're thin crust. They are pizzas, crispy. the big thick ones are like the eating a steak. Thick, I know. <laughs> But that's one a different one. You can uh, have it as an appetizer or as a main course. But you know, you pay about nine or ten dollars, and you have a wonderful dinner. You come after the theater, okay. or just have it with some cocktail. So it's a perfect thing to have. And you know, when I when I go to Europe or somewhere, when I come back home, if I would come back to Chicago or to Los Angeles, the first time I eat pizza is a pizza. I mean, nobody can tell me you, I have to eat caviar or goose liver or something. I don't really care. But pizza is really a food you can eat every day. So that's why I love to make I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna just step away. And yeah. Uh, you 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 know the drill. So go ahead and make me a okay. uh, pizza. Okay. Well, we're gonna make you or show you a food. We made a pizza though, which is really easy to do. There are only five ingredients. You know, you have water, flour, yeast, olive oil, salt, and a little honey. Is that five or six? I, maybe I get confused a little bit. But it's very simple. And then you let it rest, and you form little balls, flatten them out. And then you stretch it by hand. Now, if you would make it at home, you might have to roll it out with a rolling pin. But I learned that since I was a kid. So my mother used to make them to me. If I didn't stretch it over, I didn't get any pizza. So you stretch it nice and thin. But I want to have a lid on the side. So that way you have a little crust around. Now, some people in Italy, like in Napoli, they don't have the crust around. But I like to have the chewiness at the end. Now, we also make a pizza which became very well known. We make them for the Oscars and for a lot of our people. Is the pizza with smoked salmon. Now, we stretched it all the same way as here, but we don't cook it with the smoked salmon. We just bake the crust, put some onions on it, and then put uh, a dill cream on it and smoked salmon. And if you want a little caviar, a little salmon egg, which is great for champagne or for any time of the night or for lunch. You know, I got to tell you, I, I, I called them for a month in advance. I said every day I called them. Can I get a job as like a waiter or a server just to go to the Oscar party? Yeah. And, and you know what's funny? He never called me back once. Uh, All I right, go ahead. I thought this is well below your <laughs> your classification to be a waiter or a cook. Okay, naturally a little olive oil is always good. Okay, put them on both. Okay, here I have some red onions, sliced very thinly. Or finely. All right. Okay, so let's put this one in the oven already. A very fancy spatula here we have. See, it's important to put flour on the table because if not, it will stick. So at home, if you put it on a cutting board, put semolina on it or flour on it, that way it doesn't stick so you can get it off the board. Okay, here we have a pizza. Now, you always start with a little bit of cheese. Here we have mozzarella. I like a little bit of goat cheese too because it gives it a little bit of a bite. Okay, this is fresh goat cheese. You have to be careful with old goat cheese because our older goat cheese is very salty sometimes because when it dries out, the salt remains, so it's not very good to eat. Okay, here we have a few vegetables. A little fennel maybe. I love prosciutto, so we're going to make a prosciutto pizza. A little garlic, caramelized garlic. I cook it in olive oil. So that way it's easier to digest. Here we have prosciutto. And then maybe we need a little color. So let's put a few tomato slices. Anything else you would like on it? You know, we can call this the Dining Chicago Pizza. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. We can give it any kind of name. Now you watch this one in there so we don't burn it. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. I'm watching okay. you. Okay, good. What else we have? A few mushrooms maybe. Why not a few mushrooms? Okay, we top it off with a little bit of parmesan and a little bit of fresh thyme. Okay, so it's very easy to do, very simple, and it cooks very fast. Okay, you see, this one is in just for a few minutes. You see it start to puff up already because it's a yeast dough. Now, we make the smoked salmon ourselves here. That's why it's really, really first-class smoked salmon. Now, and this is your signature pizza. Uh -huh, really absolutely, yeah, and you can see how thin we slice it. Look at that, you can see through almost. So that's really perfect for smoked salmon. Mm. You know, you don't want to have smoked salmon, which is cut really thick. And you see the texture. If you buy it in a store, 
generally it's very mealy and, and oily tasting, but this one is really fresh because we make it every day. We don't want to overcook it because it gets too hot after, so it shouldn't be like a cracker. It should be nice and crispy outside, you can see, and then it's soft inside. Then we spread it with a little bit of our dill cream. You can use chives in it or any, any herbs you like. We basically, it's sour cream or creme fraiche. And I got the idea actually when I made the bagels with lox. You know, when yeah, yeah. we ran out of bread, so I said, oh my God, we have smoked salmon. What are we going to put on it? And I was playing around. And then I said, you know, let's use the pizza dough. And I put the pizza dough on the side. It didn't look right. I said, you know, I'm going to make one just like a bagel with the smoked salmon. And now people make it all over the place. When you come up with most of your recipes, do you do it? Do you sit down trying to do it, or do you just sort of experiment like, well, you know, with the, this piece, or both? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. Sometimes you see an ingredient which is wonderful, you see it at the market or somewhere, you say, oh, I'm going to try to make something out of that. And then you try, and it doesn't come out always right away, right? You know, I'm not only different than a home cook in a way, you know? Yeah, yeah. It takes time to make it really perfect. It's rare that it comes out the first time perfect. You know, it would, I would be a genius, not a cook after that. Okay, and here I have a little bit of golden caviar. Is this a freshwater caviar? Uh-huh, this is a caviar white, white fish eggs, really. We call it golden caviar. It's very good because it gives a little saltiness to it. And okay, up. And here we have a wonderful appetizer. All we need is a glass of champagne and we're all right.